Madam Chair, Excellencies, Honorable Delegates, representing Etikas Foundation, we appreciate the effort of you, Madam Chair, and your team, as well as of the Secretariat, for the drafting of the present zero draft. We would also like to thank you for ensuring that the elaboration of a cybercrime convention is and has been an all-inclusive process, which includes civil society, and we very much appreciate the opportunity to intervene here in the plenary today. We are pleased to see that several very contentious provisions from the CND did not make it into uh, did make it into the zero draft. However, we also echo previous speakers and regret that several provisions of, the par of paramount importance have not made it into the text, or at least not in their entirety or the extent necessary in order to ensure a smooth and secure functioning of the future convention. In particular, we are very concerned that Article 5, the general provision on human rights, has been narrowed, narrowed down significantly. As in previous sessions, we urge you to rather strengthen this key provision. This includes inserting an explicit reference to the main internationally recognized documents setting out human rights obligations, such as the UN Declaration on Human Rights, and in particular the International Covenant on Civil and Political Rights. We further recommend that any qualifier be removed. Equally, Article 24 on conditions and safeguards in its current form is not sufficiently far-reaching to ensure human rights are fully guaranteed. To that end, we urge to reintroduce a reference to the principles of necessity and legality, as at the moment only the principle of proportionality made it into the text. However, these three principles are well, are well established and go hand in hand. We equally recommend reintroducing an explicit reference to the rule of law, privacy and the protection of data as were mentioned in the CND. We further recommend deleting any qualifying phrases. Finally, more explicit conditions and safeguards need to be established in order to provide meaningful protection against potential misuse, such as a right and effective remedy, the prompt, thorough and impartial investigation of alleged violations, as well as a requirement that any investigative powers listed in this convention must be conducted in ways not to compromise the security of digital communica communications. Abiding by internationally recognized human rights standards and implementing sufficient safeguards is key to a smooth and successful functioning of the future convention. They are by no means obstacles or burdens. Considering human rights standards this way leads to a very slippery slope that I'm certain we all would like to avoid. Madam Chair, there is a lot more to say on, pre on the provisions um, of, in the remaining groups, but due to time restraints, I'll finish here. Thank you very much.